I've got the castle mounted in my four jaw chuck. It's probably just putting a clock gauge on this to set it up because the surface finish is quite rough on it. All we'll do It's actually not bad there It'll not be perfectly round, it is just a rough casting but it does feel It feels reasonable there You can see that's quite a bit of jaw sticking out It's the biggest chuck I've got what I've got to be make sure is that the the lathe carriage clears the, the jaws underneath there, which it does has plenty of clearance. First thing we'll do we'll face it and put a hole through it. Might clean this face up and actually face up as well. What I will be doing, I'll be putting a, a tray underneath here to catch all the all the swarf, cast iron dust, horrible stuff. Nice plastic tray here. That just slides in the layer and that'll catch most of the swarf that drops off. A lot of people worry about getting cast iron swarf on the bed. You're not, it's not going to be where the, where the bed away. The casting's quite clean, there's no sand in it. Sand's the stuff that wears things away. What you find is when you take your first cut off the cast iron, you've got to take a nice deep cut to get underneath the skin of the skin of the material, the hard skin on the surface. So once again make sure you have got plenty of clearance between the chuck and the, the lead carriage, which I have. Lock the carriage off and put a decent cut on. Stiff centre drill. Johnny Fayler sees that the machine cast iron dry. Put the floor of oil on the intent to make a horrible abrasive, abrasive mess. Casting is so lubricating to a certain degree. This casting has been placed in the Phoenix. Not be any horrible hard, hard bits in it. There's quite a lot of metal to come out of this. Slow the layer down quite a bit, put it in back here, we'll put a, a much bigger drill through.
As a lot of us here have come out of this in our very small fine chips with cast iron, eye protection really is a must. I mean, I wear glasses all the time in the shop, but with this stuff, definitely a face wise that job. Decent size hole in there now, open sockers. Swap the tool, put a much bigger tool in, put the put the lid back here and take a nice big heavy cut. Make sure I've got enough tool to go right through, which I have. The most important dimension on the chuck back plate is that diameter there, which is two and a quarter. That's the bit that lines the, the chuck up on the register on the lathe. That's going to be nice and flat and smooth, and that's going to be exactly the right diameter. The fit of the threads has got to be good, but it's not the threads that line things up, it's actually that diameter are there. Seeing that, we want to get the thread as good as we can. Which are this diameter here. It's 2 inches and 40 thousandths. Diameter in here, at the minute, is 2 inches and 20 thousandths. So we've got 20 thousand to come out of there. Two forty two twenty. We'll take one more late cut out of there at the same setting. Two inches, bang more is bang on two inches. Two inches and six though. Right, I'll put a tenth of cut on it. Slow the feed rate down a fair bit. Right, that's bought the finished size for screw cutting. The next thing is to put the register in. The depth of the recess is 720 thousandths. So what we'll do, we'll bring our tool in to touch the touch the face. I'm going to leave this tooling as I've had good results with it. Tools touching the face there with zero. Zero our travel clock. Put a foot on, 20 so cut, that's my zero there. One hundred, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to do that again just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we'll leave the 20 for the final cut.
Right, what I've done, I've bored the whole 10 out too big. So basically I've destroyed the casting. Shite. We've got a, a test piece here, that's the size it should be. And it's too slack. So what I've done, I've made a, I've made a balls of it. All I can do now is bore this out bigger and put a steel bush in, sleeve it so I can so I can salvage it, I should be able to. Bloody annoying. What I'll do I'll leave it in the chuck and I'll, I'll bore that out, leave it in the chuck and press the sleeve in. If it's still in the chuck, then bore the sleeve to size. Annoying, just carelessness on my behalf. Trying to do a video and trying to do something accurate at the same time. I've been caught out. Anyway, it'll be interesting to, to show the fix, I suppose. And fix it, I will.